What are measurable offsets, or why do we need them? Well, we've heard a lot about climate change and climate issues. This is largely based on greenhouse gases, or the most common is CO2. As CO2 levels increase in the atmosphere, climate change becomes a concern. The real concern, however, is if CO2 levels reach beyond a certain point, we hit what's called a tipping point. And if we pass the tipping point, all is lost. By now, we all know that we should be at 350 parts per million of CO2 in the atmosphere. Great organizations like 350.org have done a great job of making the world sensitized to this issue. But the problem is, is we're not at 350. We are already past 350. We're at 385 and growing. What does this mean? Well, this means, say we take every factory in the world and somehow find a way to stop all their emissions. Even if we stop their emissions, we're still over 350. Even if we take every single car in the world and get rid of the internal combustion engine and put in electric cars and charge the electric cars with wind power, we're still over 350. This means we have to get the emissions down. We have to reduce our CO2 levels. What are the ways we can do this? Well, the best way, really, is to plant trees. Trees grow quickly, and they're amazing machines. They do incredible things because they take CO2 out of the atmosphere. The problem is, sometimes trees get cut down and used for other things. And at the end, no tree lasts forever. And when it dies, all the CO2 that it sequestered is re-released back into the atmosphere. So what other options do we have? Well, we could use things like solar cookers. Solar cookers are nice because they reduce the number of emissions. They're truly a green mm. technology, but there's no way to know if they're actually mm. being used. And if they're not being used, they're not doing any good. Another option could be improved cookstoves. Their improved efficiencies reduce emissions, but the problem is they're still dependent on wood or charcoal. And when you burn those, those re-release the CO2 that was captured by the plants. And again, like the solar cooker, there's no way to verify that they've actually been used. And if they're not being used, they're not doing any good. As an alternative, there's the Lucia stove. The Lucia stove is a different kind of stove. It is a pyrolytic stove. This means it uses waste biomass and transforms it into a clean burning gas. The leftovers are called biochar. Biochar is 80% carbon, and therefore it is a tangible way to quantify how much CO2 has been captured. Now, thanks to BIOS, this reduction of CO2 is certified. This is an enormous step forward because this places in the hands of the people who need the most help all the tools for improving their own lives, their own health, and their own economies. Measurable offsets. Reducing the world's CO2 levels one meal at a time.